everybody. Hallelujah. Can we just lift our hands right now and just begin to think on the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for us. I know we are here to celebrate this great man. But all at the same time, we want God in this place. We want, we want to lift the name of Jesus in this place. Because if he was here, he'll tell all of us, calm down. <laughs> calm down, because he just had a sense of humor about himself. And I just want to, we just want the kings of kings to enter in on today. We want the lords of lords to be in the midst of us on today. We want his Shekinah glory to fall on us today. In the name of Jesus. So, Father God, we just come to you right now, God. Lifting up holy hands, oh God. For you being God and God all by yourself, oh God. We know you make no mistakes, oh God. But, Father God, we know that our brother, he's in a better place, oh God. But, Father, we just thank you, God, for allowing him to live on this side, oh God. And for those lives that he touched on this side, oh God, we just thank you, Father. We thank you for the laughter he brought, oh God. We thank you, God, for the spirit he brought into a, a room where it was sadness. He was always bringing joy to your people oh God and for that we just thank you Lord God we even thank you God for the servant heart he had in serving his family oh God serving his church oh God serving his wife oh God and also serving this great country Lord and we just thank you Lord God we thank you for lending him to us oh God when he was here oh God but Father God in the days to come oh God when we feel that sadness oh God you say in your word bless are those that mourn, they shall be comforted, oh God. So, Father, in those times when we feel sad, oh God, we know you have left the comforter here, oh God, to strengthen us, oh God, and give us that peace that surpasses all understanding, oh God. So, I lift this family up on today, God. I ask you to give them joy, God, because the joy of the Lord is their strength, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And when they do get sad, oh God, help them to remember the good times, oh God, the good times they shared, oh God. The good times, oh God. Put them in remembrance of the positive things, oh God. The things, oh God, that he instilled in them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And Father God, I lift up the woman of God that's going to stand in John's shoes on today to bring forth the word, oh God. Father, his wife, oh God, I lift her up right now before you, God. I ask you to strengthen of God from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, oh God. Lord, I ask you right now that she decrease and you increase, oh God. Give us strength, oh God, to speak to your people that are here on today, oh God. Lord, let your word come forth with power, boldness, authority, understanding, oh God. But most of all, Lord, let it come forth in love, oh God. And Father, we just thank you, Lord God. We give you glory. We give you honor. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Beginning and the end, the 
beginning and the end all the God had three in one Spirit Father and Son He's a lion and the lamb He's a lion and the lamb Yes he is How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God Oh we'll see how great How great is our God Such an awesome God Yes he is How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God Oh we'll see how great How great is our God You're the name, you're the name, you're the name You're the name above all names You are worthy of all praise And my heart will sing How great is our God Our God, our God, our God You're the name, you're the name You're the name above all names You are, you are worthy of all praise And our hearts will sing How great is our God Yes you are, yes you are How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God Oh we'll see how great, how great How great our God, you're great and mighty God, how great is our God, say with me how great is our God, oh we'll see how great, how great is our God. So my Savior God to Thee How great Thou art How great Thou art
you know it one more time, help me sing it. How great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me, sing with me. How great is our God? Is our God? All will see, all will see how great, how great is our God? Is our We 
say Abba. Abba. I belong to you. Thank God for 
how he um took care of his family that that's a blessing right there all by itself mm -hmm. i was trying to put it together this morning i woke up and and i was trying to see what the lord wanted me to say to the people mostly just to come and comfort my family my children and his friends and you know, to let them know it's all right now. It's all right. He been sick a long time. And I was almost like Mary and Martha. Where were you? I've been praying a long time. But the word said, he said, I'm Lord. And when he said, Lord, I said then, I said, that's enough right there by itself. <laughs> Amen. And he said, weeping may endure for a night. He said, but joy going to come in the morning. Amen. Don't nobody know what he went through. Amen. Sometimes he couldn't hardly lay down. He was up and down all night long. Amen. From one thing to the other one. But still, in spite of all of that, I still call him Lord. I give God the praise today. Amen. I praise him. I praise him for who he is in my life. Amen. Because it had not been for him. My testimony is this. I was able to be a faithful wife to him. Amen. I kept the vows. When I took them, I didn't really know what I was doing. But amen. As the years rolled on and, and I got saved, Christ came in my life. Because that, that's the key. That's what I want you to know today. With him, all things are possible. Amen. I can say that again. With Christ, all things are possible. Amen. That's why I had the strength to stand. Amen. I slept in many chairs. Amen. Many chairs in and out the hospital. Amen. But I give God the praise today. Again, the praise. He, he's at home now. He at home now. No more crying, no more weeping, no more worrying. We the one got to worry about it. Right. He said the last thing he told me when we was had got back home that last time he went, I couldn't go to the hospital with him. He said, don't let me go back. He said, them folks trying to kill me with that corona. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He said, he said they were trying to kill him with that corona. I said, I ain't going to let you go back. I said, I, ain't gonna, I said, if they take you, they better call me. And he didn't go back. Amen. I thank God for the, just the testimony, just his life. Amen. He was so many things to so many people. I've been getting phone calls over and over. Amen. One sister called me this morning and was talking about he was a pastor to him. And talking about how he brought that word and, and how he would say things and he would tell us to calm down. <laughs> Didn't want us to talk. Amen. He'll take over when he went to talking about the Lord and talking about how good he was. And, and that's why I wanted my son to, my son to sing that song about, about Leon. Amen. Timbo. Because that's the song that we sung when we was in the room. Amen. And, and don't, don't mention John P. Key. Amen. When we praise and we dance. Amen. All in the bed. I'm talking about on the sick bed. He still was giving God the praise. Amen. He was giving God the praise. So I'm not confused and I'm not sad because I know where he is. Amen. So when I got up this morning and I looked at first second Corinthians, and I'm just gonna give you a little of it. It says, let me hold it here. Amen. Anyway, it says this. It says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It said, For we know that if our earthly house, this tent, I said, Now, earthly. 
he talking about this physical body. And I said then, I said, well, Lord, I said, that body gone now. I said, we just getting ready to lay it to rest. When I read that, I said, it said, he said, we have a building. He said, now listen, he said, for we know that if our earthly house, talking about the physical body, this tent is destroyed. Amen. Now it been destroyed. Amen. He ain't got to worry about no more legs. He gonna have new legs. He gonna have a new body. Amen. We ain't got to worry about cancer no more. Amen. No more cancer. No more cancer. No more diabetes. Amen. We ain't got to worry about that no more. Amen. It been destroyed. I'm gonna let you know where you're getting ready to go now. He said, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Amen. Look, he got a new body, a new body. It said, for in this, we grow honestly, desiring to be clothed with our habitation, which is from heaven. And if indeed. Having been clothed, we should not be found naked. It said, for we who are in this tent grown, talking about us now, the one who's still here. It said, being burned, not because we want to be unclothed, but for the clothes that mortality may be swollen up, swallowed up by life. Now, he who had prepared us for this very thing is God who also has given us the spirit as a guarantee. They look, this guarantee. It said, therefore, we are always confident. Look, he said, we can be confident in anything. He said, therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. It's about we walk by faith. Now you got to have some right. faith with this thing. That's where it is with this corona. You don't see it. Amen. But you believe it's here. Amen. But if you didn't believe it, you wouldn't have on all these masks. Right. Come on. And you don't see it. But he told us to walk by faith, not by sight. It said we are confident. Yes. Well, please. Rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. That cloud. It said, therefore, we make it our aim. I'm talking to y'all now because Cloud got healed. Right. He got that new body. That's why I'm not sad when I find out when I when I had to I had to go back to the word to see what he said. Cloud in that new body now. Amen. He with the Lord. Amen. This body, we didn't get ready to lay it to rest. Lay it to rest that morning when he died. I knew he was gone. Amen. But I knew that spirit, his spirit. Because see, this just a body. Yes, it's just the house. Amen. He, he gone. He's not here no more. Amen. But when I began to look at that word, the Bible said, Tim, Timothy said, he fought a good fight. He did. He fought a good fight. Amen. He had a hard battle, but he fought a good fight. Amen. Amen. I hate let, I'm a her brother. I ain't gonna get too excited oh, about this oh, thing. He care. said, Timothy say, he said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, that is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all of them also that love his appearing. That, that's what I'm pleading to you today. Amen. If you get this, if you get born again, amen, because see cloud gone. Amen. If you get born again, amen. We'll have a, a, a good life with God, uh, with new clothes. Amen. Cloud gone. I, 
I looked at another word. He said, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. All that time, all them years I prayed. It wasn't just last month he got sick, he been sick. I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed. I knew he said, my grace is sufficient. He said, my grace is sufficient. Claude's favorite scripture said, he always loved to go with, the Lord is my shepherd. Uh -huh. Amen. When, when, when he had them pass and Mr. Bill sent me a, a text message, uh, he said, the Lord is my shepherd. I knew then what he was talking about. Amen. Amen. It said, for he has said, Hebrews say, for he has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. I don't care what it look like. I don't care what it feel like. Mm -hmm. Even when you don't see me, he let us know I'm still with you. Amen. Through the valley, I'm still with you. I don't care what it look like. I'm still with you. Amen. That's that's the that's good news. When I start looking at it, seeing what God's word said. Amen. When you when you start getting in that spirit and get out of this old flesh, but they flesh be wanting you to hurt some folk. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But I had to get out there. Amen. Yeah. I had to get out of this flesh. Yeah. Amen. Because I knew the job I had before me was to lay my husband to rest. Amen. A good man. My daughter, my oldest daughter, Calandra. Yesterday she was talking about, she was trying to, she was running back and forth, trying to get caper, trying to get him back. Amen. And, and, and I told her, I said, calm down, just go lay down and rest. I said, if you don't see him, I said, Denise will open him up so you can see him. Don't worry about it. That's our problem. We worry. We worry. Stress, stress will hurt us. We, it'll kill us if we don't calm down. Amen. We got to start learning how to trust God and knowing that he'll make a way for us. Amen. If anybody should be concerned, it should be me because he don't left me by myself. Amen. But I'm not by myself. Amen. I got the Father. He the one that kept us all these years. Amen. He the one kept us. He the one kept us. Amen. He said, I keep you in perfect peace. If your mind stayed on me, if you keep your mind on him, he'll keep you in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't want to go digging in stuff too much, so. Uh, uh, <laughs> Amen. Amen. I don't, don't want to go digging in stuff too much, but I just want to tell people about being married. You know, stick with your husband. Oma, stick with your wife. He didn't get a chance to walk Columbia down the line. He won't, but he'll be there in spirit. But he told Daryl, when Daryl asked him for Columbia hand to marry him, he told Daryl, take, be a good man to her. Take care of her. And if anybody can say he was a good man to me, if I'm right. talking about, I ain't talking about no boys. Right. Mm. I'm talking about a man. Yeah, a man. <laughs> yeah, there ain't too many men. We got boys that walk around acting like men. Amen. Yeah. Take care of your children. <laughs> Take care of your children. Amen. Don't let nobody else be raising your children. Take care of your children. Those are your children. That one thing I can say, when he got a hope to God yeah. and learned it, amen, he, 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 he loved his children. I, I remember when they were little, they, we, we'd go to the beach. They could never get in the water. What the purpose of going to the beach? You know? He was just that protective of If you go in there, in the mall, they couldn't walk. He, you better not come out going another stone. They couldn't do that. But we, we told Caleb, what Caleb is our last baby. 
and, and Caleb said, they, it looked like, well, I didn't know the truth told us that you always concerned about it. you didn't spend a whole lot of time. They said, you had the best life because he didn't kill you. <laughs> you know? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he didn't kill Caleb. Amen. Amen. But I, he, 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 he was a brother to some. Yeah, Amen. We all have memories of him. He was a son-in-law. He was a cousin. Milton called me the other day and told me about or how he tied him up when he was a baby. And, and, and uh, Claudia told her that story so many times. Amen. Amen. He was just so much to so many. His friends called me and, and they said, he helped them with that truck, and, and God know he was a walking GPS. Is that the right word for it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause so you know me now, I get confused. I'm old. <laughs> I'm old. Amen. But I tell you, he was he was a man. We got so many memories of him. Amen. And we love him so much. We love him so much. I can't even express the love. And I don't know if I told him enough, you know. But if I didn't tell him, I hope I showed him. Yeah. You know, I hope I really did show him how much I really did love him. Because I was right there with him. Many vacation, I didn't go on. I remember on Sunday, we had to go to work sometime on Sunday. I ain't never seen nobody, the whole family got to go and clean up somebody's office. But that's the way he was, he took us with him. He wouldn't let us go nowhere by ourselves. Amen. I thank God for him. I remember days in that truck, when I get in the truck, he said, time you get in, you go to sleep. He said, they all gonna be laughing at you, you sitting up here with your mouth on my, I didn't care. I was asleep. You know, I didn't care about all that. But I thank God for a good man, a good husband, a good father. And amen, if you, if you say, well, I done made so many mistakes. God is so forgiving. I'm here today to tell you, get it together. Get your life together. I ain't talking about them Christians that walk around cussing. Right. Pastor Rand, you told that message up about God inside of you. He dwells on the inside of us. We can't even get into churches. You know, so many people looking for the church, but it ain't in the church. He's on the inside of us. Amen. He's on the, and which I knew it all the time. That's why I was so excited about the message. He's on the inside of us. We are the church. Amen. My daughter like say she get like Peter sometimes. Get a hold of this thing. Let Peter go. Stop cussing. Amen. Yeah, amen. 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 She'll tell you quick, I got a little Peter in me. Amen. And then on the other hand, she'll be praising him. Amen. But let's grow up. Let's grow up. Let's grow up. Y'all know what's right. You know what's right and what's wrong. The Holy Ghost be kind of guiding you all the while. You know, letting you know that this ain't right. Well, a lot of times we'll, we'll go with the devil. Let's give it up today. I want to get where Claude at. I want to make it in. Yeah. I want that new body. That's what I want. Amen. I hope you got something that you could take home with you. Amen. I hope you got something that you can truly take home. Amen. And be real. Be real with him. Be real. I don't care if the church don't never own my God. Just be real with God. Spend that time with him. Have that relationship. That's what he want. He want that same relationship that I had with Cloud. Amen. He want that same relationship. When I went, look, you spend time with him. 
You know how y'all be on no cell phone every minute when it rains. That's what he want us to do. Take the time out and talk to him. Spend time with him. See which way he wants you to go. Amen. I could preach all day. Amen. I could talk all day about him. How good he is. How good he is. I'm talking about, I'm talking about I ain't saying the thing because I don't know. I'm talking about I know how good he is. He'll make a way out of no way. When you think you you trying to figure that thing out, he been already don't work it out. Amen. I like some one part of the song said, when you don't see me, I'm still working. When you don't see me, I'm still working. When you don't feel me, I'm still working. Amen. Grandma, don't you worry, don't you worry, don't you worry. Baby, I got you. I got you. I got you. The Lord know what he was doing. I got you. You won't have to never worry about who going to see about you. Because I got you. Amen. Well, let's give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Today is just one of necessity. Just like God decided to live within us, for quite a few around this circle, Claude already lives in you. His DNA is a part of your strand. And you'll find yourself doing things now that he's gone that you never would have expected yourself doing only because he's already down in you. You can't look to this form anymore because the Claude you know now resides in you and with his father. So today we're going to commit his remains, his body. I always hate to say remains because you are what remains. This was nothing more than his transportation while he was here. He doesn't need it now because he's not doing anything down here. But what he will do, he'll do through you from this day forward. So it is my job to commit his body. So I hate to destroy flowers. But it says that we commit him ashes to ashes, dust to dust, earth to earth. This form we will not see walking around again. But some days you'll see your brother walking and you'll see daddy in it. Sometimes you'll see your sons or your daughters come in and you'll see some of their daddy moving them. You'll see him here or there, somewhere, you'll see him. So God, we want to give you thanks today for allowing us to commit Claude to the earth, his flesh, where it came from. And we ask God that you just receive him into your loving open arms, that he might dwell with you. You dwelled in him, and now he dwells with you. And so we thank you, God, for what you've done for him. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to let the funeral home come, and after that, we'll close. The hymn writer to guide me. Oh, that great Jehovah. I'm a pilgrim through this barren land. But I am weak, but thou are mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. But the hymn writer goes on to say, Bread of heaven. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Mr. Claude had a chance to go home to be with the Lord in the presence of his own family. To be there with his wife and then to have his wife to give his eulogy for him. But being a truck driver for all those years, I even had a chance to drive a truck. The first box that goes on the truck. Some kind of way I always be the last box that come off the truck. Just in the other day, Mr. Claude had been all over the world, hauling pain, suffering, misunderstanding, sickness, word racial. But on last Saturday, God gave him another truckload with love, peace, joy, and understanding. So today, if we're going to weep for anyone, let us not weep. But Mr. Carl, let us be for ourselves. 
because the other day Mr. Clyde had a wreck in his old truck. And he called in to the dispatch and told him that I had had a wreck. He said, well, Clyde, I need you to get out of the truck and look around and look and see what's going on. He said that the body of the truck has been torn up. So that's on last Saturday, he jumped the body and brought the soul on home. So on behalf of this family, they would like to take the opportunity to thank these great men of God, this Sandra, and to each of you for taking out of your busy schedule on this Wednesday to come out to help celebrate the home going to that little one. Because of the fact that the doctors couldn't take the sickness from the body, the Lord decided to take the body from the sick. So we ought to thank God for what he has done because this is the will of God. On behalf of Mr. Robert Eric West, our Vice President, Ms. Devin and Nice West, and we the West Montreal staff, we'd like to thank you for entrusting your loved one with us. Hope what we have done this day has been uplifting to your family. I always will continue to look to the hill that's coming to our help, for all our help do come from the Lord. From compliments of the West Montreal staff, have some lovely plaques that have been given in lovely memory of Mr. Claude. We would like for his wife to have one. And with all his kids, please do not yourself by raising your hand. 